Hello, this is Elijah Keating from wisdomseekers.net. Please go check us out. I would be very grateful. And um, this is an evergreen. Uh, and it's uh, making a decision. What energy do I have for the choices I am given or I'm choosing to make? Um, we will do A, B, C, D, and E. And at this point, we're going to do a fast forward because I'm just going to pull cards and it's really boring. All right, I'm done, done, and now we are back. So first one is A, and let's see what A has to say for itself. Rebirth, spring equinox. So this is rebirth, this is new beginnings, new ideas, new, new, new advantages, new things coming our way. Everything new is not necessarily good, but in this case I think it's really good. Okay, so we have the the Knight of Cups, who is a very good, strong support. He understands that which uh, many people do not understand and is willing to calm the waters, so to speak. He adds strength. He, he lends the ability to keep on transforming without anguish. The next card is the Eight of Wands. Very good. Falling down on the job. The Eight of Wands... And this is a card of wands, of course, of flying high, being very exuberant, very excited about uh, what's happening. But it's also a card that suggests that you're firmly pl planted on the ground or very firmly grounded, which goes along with the uh, Knight of Cups. So, so far, if what you're choosing is positive for you and it works really well, and then you have the Nine of Pentacles, and this is reaping the rewards after putting in the effort. There is still transformation happening because there's butterflies, but this is a this is a very positive positive yes. Whatever you're doing, you're on the right 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 track. But be ready for a little bit of volatility, and a, and a volcano is not always destructive. Quite often, it actually builds land. It builds new fer fertility in an old, old valley. Over in Hawaii, they keep adding where the where that volcano is always disrupting or evol or erupting. It adds it adds feet every year to uh, that island. So, volatility is not necessarily negative. Ride the wave, just don't get burned. And it sounds like everything is very good for you. Take a chance. That's what that says. And B. And if you chose B, let's see what B has to say for itself. Summer solstice, radiance. And the sun gives life. The sun helps you to shine. The sun is a very positive sign. It has been from ancient times. It has been what has been on earth. We have we have celebrated it as a as a god. Not now maybe not in North America but for many years and many centuries. So the king of pentacles. And this is a solid human being kind of set in his ways, likes his money, likes his good good foods, etc., etc., probably loves apple pie or fruit pies, regardless, and adores his home. If you're fighting with this person, the Nine of Wands, he, he will fight fair, mostly. Everybody wants to win, so sometimes even people who are very fair get a little tricky but you can probably deal with this situation very well if you listen to what 
the other person has to say and they are capable of listening to what you have to say. And if that doesn't work, then you have the fool, which is the brand new beginnings. It's time to move on. It's time to make a, a new new change. This The fool is a major arcana, so it, she, he, she is supported by an angel, and he's following his dream. Sometimes they're little they need a little bit of support, but he's following his dreams. And the last card is the autumnal equinox, or release. So there's a good possibility you are very correct in what you want, but you have the strength from the sun. You have the ability to release when necessary. And if it's necessary, just say adios because you will be supported along your journey even though the beginning could be very rough and that is B good luck there and C dance celebrate I like this card and it's a full out joyful dancing let's see what the rest of the cards have to say All right, so the Ace of Cups, that again is a joyful card. It's a card of new beginnings, but it's new beginnings of joy and happiness. The, um, the Knight of Pentacles is a very strong, sturdy human being or energy. And the solar plexus area is strong and stable, which means there is no power struggles and things like that. But there is still some negative energy involved, the Seven of Swords. And I forgot, did I say the Ace of Cups and the Eight of Pen the Knight of Pentacles? The Seven of Swords is somebody you need to watch your back. There's somebody who's be betraying you just a bit. But if this is somebody that you're falling for, it looks like that person is good and honest, but you might be hearing things in your ear that aren't. That's up to you to deal how you deal with it. But and if it's just that you're in a situation that appears really wow and wonderful, be careful. The full moon will bring bring completion. And completion, it could be an ending of a relationship, it could be a real ending of a job. But it's also it's also a very positive event. It doesn't always feel that way, I understand that. But in the future, though there's no such thing as time, I know I say that all the time, but in the future you will find that you are very, very glad that you did. And I'm an old lady now, and I can tell you every time I fell in love and it didn't work out, I now say thank you, God. So... We'll see, okay? The next one is D. And it is strength. Mountain of strength. And it's a beautiful mountain, isn't it? I think somebody went to the Rockies and painted that picture there. All right. And this card, <laughs> this is a card of keep on doing what you're doing. You will have to have a great deal of car, uh, courage, pardon my English. You will have to have a great deal of courage to follow through. But you do it in balance and you do it with courage and you know in your heart where you're going to end up. You may not know how you're going to get there, but know in your heart you're going to get, th get there and it's going to be what you want. In the meantime, I'm afraid you're going to have to be very, very patient. There is a lot of things happening behind the scenes that you are probably unaware of. But this card also suggests that because you are, are waiting for this thing and you have to be patient, that what you want is probably going to be what you will receive. So the, the emperor... And if you're waiting for an emperor, make sure you know what you're waiting for. An emperor without his empress is very rigid and hard to deal with. So you're either going to get a wonderful human energy 
or a negative energy that uh, just looks down on you like a, like you're a child. I don't think that's the, what this is. I think this is a very positive card. You just have to be patient to get what you want. And if it's the energy of the emperor, God willing, you're the empress, if you're a female, because then you have the perfect perfect energy to deal with what you want. If you if you happen to be a male that is in search of something something that you love, then make sure that you are balanced in your male female energies so that you also receive exactly what you want. The last card is lightning or power. So you have strength. You have courage. You have patience because that's that's the only choice you have. Pardon me. And you have the emperor, which is power. It's very, it's it's the emperor. It's about as powerful as you can get uh, in the human realm, because they're higher than kings and queens. So the route you're taking is going to take you into a route of our position of being extremely powerful in your area. You need to wield it with uh, care and comfort, care and strength and courage. <laughs> a lot of courage. Okay, that's D. Good luck on that one. That one would be probably the very hardest one to deal with being very powerful. Not horrible, but great, but good. If you can, if you handle it carefully. Shaman. Ancient, oh, pardon me. E. <laughs> I'm still back on D. E. The shaman. Ancient healing and wisdom. So this means that a lot of old, old energy is being released in your healing. And it could be, too, this is an extremely spiritual card, that you are bringing up the ancient energy of who you have always been back back into the physical. And that is, without a doubt, the most positive thing you can do. All right. So... First of all, you start out with the Five of Cups, which is frustration. You cannot see necessarily what you've got. So that would probably mean you're in an in-between stage. You're just not quite there yet, but you're getting there. And, uh, and you're going to, all you have to do is turn around and you can see the wonders you're, you're, you're just about to receive. And this is taking control of your own life, the Three of Wands taking control of your own life, putting all your efforts forward into what you truly want, and being very positive that uh, at least 60% of what you want is going to come home, and that 60% will be sufficient to push you over the edge. And the last card is the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is uh, the teacher, the, the gatherer of knowledge, and in this card, the healer. So, and to my mind, the more you know, the more you can heal. And knowledge by itself is just knowledge, but knowledge with a heart is alive and giving. So whatever you're doing, whatever you're choosing, this is a very positive outcome for you. And the problem is with being spiritual, you have to be vulnerable or have a vulnerability. And that's all right, because with that vulnerability comes an absolute strength you've never realized you had. And you can do this. It's simple. And true spirituality is extremely simple. It's very positive, and, but it doesn't, it doesn't back down from its truth. It doesn't fight for its truth because he doesn't have to. Because he, the truth is simply the truth, whether other people know it or not, it doesn't matter because that is the truth. So, whoever chose E, this is a this is a, a growth and growth, an improve. You're growing. You're growing and doing more. It doesn't have to be spiritual. Actually, it can be anything. Though living is a spiritual event. So, whatever you're doing. It's happening for you. You're growing, and that's extremely positive for you. 
there you go, E. And let's hope everything is exactly the way you want it. Namaste. Namasco.